when the people don't receive, when the people don't receive, you, there will still be increase because you did what God told you to say since you declare prosperity over your life. So basically your seed is producing more increase. It's giving birth to more increase, giving birth to new anointings and greater manners in the spirit. Regardless, have anybody else picked your food up? God didn't, God didn't say anybody else had to enjoy your fruit. He just said produce fruit. Just produce fruit. That's all up. That's our sole purpose on here is to win souls for Jesus Christ. So all we got to do is say it. Right. And then let everybody else pick up the pieces because we did what God said up, told us to do. Increase through persecution. I didn't even get to the persecution part. This is just God telling us straight off the bat. We should be prosperous. The seed shall be prosperous. He didn't give us a choice in the matter. That's what we giving people too many choices. Well, you just need to say it, and they need to fall in line or fall back. Shall be prosperous. Too many choices. I mean, even when I, he goes, he's giving it to me deeper. When he says something, stop playing with the devil. Stop playing with these spirits. Stop playing with these people that are in your area that's trying to hinder you from producing good fruit. Just say it. The devil won't move because he won't talk to me. So the ground should give for anything. So the ground shall birth more fruit because of a prosperous seed. I want y'all to notice the process. And then heaven shall give their dues. When, when I think about dues, I think about, you know, people fellowship, you know, biker clubs, fellowship, you know, elk lodge, they fellowship together on a common ground. So they put money into this fellowship because they want to see it prosper. Yes. So when you begin to speak over your life, regardless of the environment or the, the condition of your seed when you plant it, mm. and say it's prosperous, yes. and you begin to produce good fruit, heaven will open up a window and a gateway and begin to shower blessings to support the fellowship that you're having with Jesus Christ. See, it's a kingdom connection right there. When you, be, when you begin to line up, and the seed is lined up, and the fruit is lined up, heaven will begin to shine upon you. And when heaven shines upon you, and it pours out its dues to you. Woo! Oh, my goodness. When heaven pays its dues to you, you don't deserve it, but heaven is decided because you're pressing your way through, you're, you're, you're being persecuted, and yet you're still speaking increase for the kingdom, it will begin to pour out blessings onto you that you're not even worthy of. Thank God. Bless the Lord. Ah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And the Lord saying this, not giving us any options. You have too many options. So God saying, they will pour themselves out with you. He's telling you what it is. He's not telling you how it might be. He's telling you what it is. How life should be. Come on. When you walk in your kingdom authority. Heaven will give their dues. Mm. Wow. I'm excited just off that. Their dues. Heaven shall give me. Increase. Double. A hundredfold for everything I'm going through here on this earth. Every situation, every attack from the enemy, I should get double for being faithful to God. Because I'm sowing a seed to be prosperous. Thank you, Lord. Yes, he just take me back to the seed. Now, I don't care what you sow into. If it's a person, 
that disability, that is yourself. God said that seed shall line up. I don't know why he's taking me here, but he said that seed shall line up. So that means don't say it. Don't say it and let your mind block the fullness of your seed. But when you sow a seed, whether it be from mouth, money, time, do it expecting God to do something. Don't do it with, uh, with another motive. That's right. mm -hmm. Because heaven can't pay the dues to something that's out of order. Mm -hmm. yeah. Heaven can't bless you when you're out of order. That's because you're favored. And when you're favored by God, anything contrary to the word of God that you step foot in will never work. Because you're battling against your nature. And when you battle against your nature, you're, you're prolonging the inevitable. I, I remember they said that on the Matrix. Mr. Anderson. said, <laughs> this is the inevitable. When you go against your nature, you belong, having given you your dues, you belong, your heart. And when you talk about seeds, there should be a harvest. Everything you sow, there should be a harvest. Now, if you, like I said, he said the mind, he said the mind. Before you, you are what you say. And before you say it, it, it does from the on up there in your head. So once you say something, once you do something, it starts up here too. Everything starts in your mind. I like how he's connected. Everything starts in your mind. So when you say, I'm going in here in my pocket. You haven't given yet. I'm going to give a, a $1 bill. When God told you a 50. Or you're supposed to call so and so for prayer, and you end up calling so and so for to talk about Susie and Sally. <laughs> you're, you're planting a seed that's not prosperous. Because he, he wants you to be blessed. He wants to shower out the mysteries of heaven to you. But if you're not planting the correct seed and you grow wrong, he has to cut you back down. He says, a, a tree that, that bears no fruit, he'll curse it. You. He'll struggle up and die. So he has to start from the beginning because he can't, he can't function. He can't just stop midway in the process and redo something. He said, no, i got to start from scratch. And then he said, I will cause the remnant of my people to possess all this. I will call those, all those who remain after the harvest to possess all this. All those who made it through the hell, the environment, the situations, to possess all the things I have for them. I will cause the Lord. It's a chain reaction when you line up. He don't wait. He'll just begin to send them on to you. You might not even be ready for him. You just got to catch him. <laughs> Hold up. That one's mine too? Yeah. And, it, and, it, and it's after you remain, after he said the, the race has been given to the, the swift, but the ones who endure until the end. So if you remain, if you endure your persecution, Heavenly blessings, the heavenly manifestations, people in your family being saved, people on your job being saved, 